Okay, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. As you already know, this is your U.S. General, five drawer, two cart, with side tray and deep compartment. Today is Wednesday, as you can see. We just now making it back over to the storage unit, getting back to it, getting busy as always. All right, been taking a few days off, you know, to get my mind clear get myself focused and organized and things of that nature. So now we back at it, okay? In today's segment, we're going to take a look at a couple of things, get a couple of visuals, all right? But I ain't going to hold you up too much more longer in the introductory of things. But as I always stayed as usual, I always keep my signature lingering somewhere in the background. My Dunkin' Donuts coffee. You already know. Okay. So pretty much, we're going to dive right into it. I'm going to get some contents out, get them to the top of the tool cart, and we're going to get into it. So walk with me. Let's get it. Okay, now that I have a few items out at the top of the tool cart, what you're technically looking at is the Milwaukee 3 8 stubby here just as well as you have your 3 8 right angle impact wrench with friction ring. Both items and both tools are equipped with friction rings and not detents. Okay, The sockets that you see laying along the top of the tool cart all right, is between the brands of Tecton, Mako, and Astro Pneumatic, just as well as towards this end over here, which is an impact graded torque bit by Tecton, just as well as a 10 millimeter snap on magnetic socket. I want to get a light out real quick so that you can take a look at the measurements, all right? Okay, now that I have my light out, all right, as you can see, the Tecton deep socket is a 15 millimeter. All right. The shallow Tecton is a 19 millimeter. The Mako is a 19 millimeter. And the Astro Pneumatic that you see, which is a low profile impact stubby socket, is also a 19 millimeter. All right. What you're looking at here is a shallow Tecton 15 millimeter, just as well as a Mako 15 millimeter. And once again, this is a snap on 10 millimeter magnetic socket just as well as this is a Tecton impact graded torque bit here as you can see all right so just to give you a good visual um real quick when it comes to these sockets the Tectons are coming in slight thicker than some of the other brands okay if you take a good look at this deep 15 millimeter here. All right, moving along to the 19 millimeters. And as you can see, if I get a closer shot on them, all right, and you can see that the Tecton is thicker than the Mako in the Astro Pneumatic. If you take notice to the Astro Pneumatic and if you take a look towards the inside of the socket, okay, um, the grooves in the uh, indent in the sockets is a deeper indent than the Mako's and the Tecton's, okay. Just as well as here, as you can see, in this 15 millimeter Tecton. And Mako. All right. The reason why I basically have these particular sockets out, because as you know, these are both impact wrenches. They are both three drive wrenches. Okay. Depending upon the applications, you know, there's some areas where the three stubby may not technically be able to get into where that with more of the slim head right angle design of the Milwaukee impact wrench may technically be able to provide 
the clearance. Okay, um, when it comes to using certain particular sockets, when impacts and using extensions, especially when using extensions, it takes away from torque loss and things of that nature. Depending upon the application, sometimes it is best to use um, a shallow impact rather than a deep impact. But once again, it's basically dependent upon the clearance that you may need. Okay, if you were technically running down something, just so to say, like lug nuts, okay, in certain applications, depending upon um, the specification of the rim, you would want to go with a deep, okay? But there are many instances where you can technically use um, a shallow socket, like just so to say, for instance, on BMW, BMW is 17 millimeter. So a good um, vast majority of the time I'm never really using a 17 millimeter deep socket I'm using a 17 millimeter shallow socket and a good majority of the time I'm not using um, none of the brands that you actually see at the top of the tool card at the prior moment I actually use um, a gray pneumatic 17 millimeter okay but just to give a, um, a little visual to you know what type of clearance that you can possibly get with the tools when applying certain particular sockets. I never um, suggest to use chrome sockets on impacts. I only use impacts for impact applications, all right? But we're going to take a good visual at that real quick. So just by giving a side-by-side -side comparison, okay, you can see um, the distance and the difference between the stubby and the right angle impact, okay? And to give you a more closer visual, all right? So just hypothetically speaking, if I was just to technically put on um, a deep impact socket, all right, just to give you, you know, a good idea of how things would technically look. Okay, so first and foremost, without even putting a deep socket, on a right angle impact and you just having a deep socket on a 3 8 stubby, okay? We've already taken notice to the indifferentials of the bodies themselves, okay? Which the stubby in length is a whole lot much more longer testically compared to the right angle impact. But as you can see with a 15 millimeter deep impact socket, okay? you see just how much more length it puts on the tool, okay, when it comes to accessing certain applications and getting in and trying to fit the tool in certain areas, okay, testically compared to using it with a right angle impact, okay. Okay, now just to give you the next visual, and as you can see, with the 15 millimeter on a right angle impact testically compared to the 3 8 stubby without a socket actually applied to the anvil. And as you can see, okay, the distance of the right angle with a deep impact socket on, okay, it does not exceed the length of the actual 3 8 stubby, okay? So just to give you a visual of that and just something just to take notice to real quick. Let's move along. Okay, now if you take notice, all right, what you see now is that I have an impact graded torque bit on a right angle impact wrench, okay? When it comes to these particular applications that require these particular type sockets, I do not suggest that you use a tool like this in high speedings. I suggest that you use a tool like this in its most lowest setting. Okay, because these particular type of applications can round and strip off, um, you know, tamper-proof fasteners and things like that. And then what happens is, is that they're hard to remove. Okay, you do have extractors, but you do not want to work backwards. Okay, and things of that nature. So when it comes to sockets like these, when using them on impacts, you do want to use them in low settings. It's not as if you would be using... A different line of sockets which are all different types of drive sockets all right okay now as you can see in the video all right this is a 10 millimeter magnetic snap-on socket all right 
Now, when it comes to using these particular sockets right here on a particular tool like this, I do not suggest that you use a socket like this to drive, okay? Because first of all, these snap-on magnetic sockets are not impact graded, even though um, the texture is an industrial finish like most impact graded sockets okay these sockets right here are basically not the same and they are not designed the same okay when using a socket like this on a particular tool just so to say of a right angle impact or just so to say of a 3 8 impact i use these sockets on removal purposes okay not technically for driving purposes because first of all like i stated these are not impact graded sockets okay they're not designed to impact and drive right um the magnet is to basically keep you know a fastener in place to get a fastener either started okay or on removal when you're working in deep areas you know to keep you from dropping fasteners in locations that is hard to retrieve from all right okay now as you can see i have three sockets that are side by side alone away from all the rest of the sockets all three of these sockets are 19 millimeter metric six points okay once again the brand is teched into the far right the center socket is a maco 19 millimeter and to the far left is a 19 millimeter astro pneumatic low profile stubby impact socket okay as you can already see the indifferential okay of the size dimensions all right you can see that the astro pneumatic is coming in all right the most shortest and the most smallest out of all three another thing once again to take notice to the thickness of the, each socket okay when it comes to these astro pneumatics if you can see if it'll focus in clear is you if you can see all right the indents of the cornering of the socket all right it is um a whole lot much more aggressive than some of the other particular sockets that i'm looking at all right is if you take notice to the macos all right and you can see basically that it's not the same all right they're machined a little bit differently if this will focus in and you can see that these are macos okay even in tectin's design okay tectin's design um they do design their sockets very well okay the indent um to tectin's sockets are semi-deep also but they're not as aggressive that i can basically see as the astro pneumatics even though the tectin is coming in at a thicker socket all right so in a situation in application on removal and being able to choose the best socket that's going to enable whatever whichever tool that i tend to use all right and i want maximum um removal from that's not going to get any torque loss i would technically in certain applications go to the stubbies here because i'm going to get more of a lower clearance i'm going to be able to get the tool in um certain locations that I may not necessarily be able to get in with some of the deeper sockets, even though that these are shallow. But with each shallow socket, it will allow me um, to receive less torque, okay, um, and impacting just so to say as a deep socket because the more longer the socket, just like a uh, extension, um, the deeper the socket, the socket is absorbing the impact okay so the less socket the less shorter socket i may say okay would come in handy a whole lot much more in some of those applications so i want to take a good look at how um the astro pneumatic stubby would look on both tools real quick 
Okay, so as you can see with the Astro Pneumatic, it is giving it a low profile, okay, when attached to the 3H drive anvil, all right? Um, another thing, if you take notice too, okay, when it comes to the sockets, and a lot of times this matters right here, if you notice how the anvil is sticking through um, the 3H drive center of the socket, okay? So this could be an issue here with the anvil um, running against a particular fastener, all right? Because the anvil is exceeding the inside. Let's see if I can get a more clearer picture of it. I don't know if you can see this as how I'm seeing it, okay? Get a more closer shot in the light. But if you can see right here that the anvil is exceeding the inner portion, okay, of the socket. So just hypothetically saying, if I was driving the tool, okay, and the anvil was moving, the anvil would be moving against the fastener. So in all actuality, this may not be um, as good of an idea. It still may work, but it could become an issue, all right? Just something to take notice to, all right? Okay, now that I have um, the Astro on the stubby right now, I want you to take notice towards the anvil, towards the inside. And as you can see, even with the 3 8 stubby, okay, with the Astro sockets on, is that the anvil is sticking through the sockets even a whole lot much more um, further than the 3 8 right angle impact, all right? I wanna to try to get my light out so that you can see. A little bit more closer, if it'll focus in properly. And if you can take notice to the anvil and you can see how far it's sticking up through the socket, okay? Okay, so that's just pretty much it, you know, just to point out a few things, you know, that I just happen to take notice to want people to be aware of this so that when you're looking at certain particular equipment that you think that is going to work best for you and your applications, know what you're purchasing, um, know what you're capable of using certain equipment um, when mixing with other brands and things like that of that nature. You know, you have all sorts of different brands of sockets out there, but some sockets have different um, fitment placement ratio differentials and differences when attaching and um, applying them to certain particular anvils and the way that they're machined and the way that they're designed and things like that. You know, um, some of them, you know, look the same, but not all of them are the same. Okay, so sometimes this is why it's good to see some of these reviews and things like that. All right. I'm basically uh, giving you this information off of my personal equipment as far as what I work with and things like that of that nature. Okay, once again, um, I never suggest, you know, using chrome sockets with impacts, but you know, everybody works a little bit differently. You know, some people, they work with what they have, you know, at their disposal at the particular time in order to get a job done. I don't knock nobody when it comes to that. You know, you got to get your money somehow. But I do suggest that you use impact sockets when it comes to impact applications and always wear your safety glasses. Okay, safety first as always. All right. Okay, so pretty much we're about to wrap this video up here. You know, it has been dragging along a little bit. It's moving into 20 minutes, all right? So into that next tool review, that next tool haul, that next modification video, I do have some things coming along, just still waiting, all right? Stay tuned, follow up with the videos, don't get lost, all right? Got to keep up with them, you know? 
put out a lot of different videos that still technically haven't been viewed. There's people who are just now catching wind to the channel, but there's a lot of information that I have put out in the past and, you know, more than a few videos. I have over 350 something videos on this channel. All right. So everybody enjoy the rest of the evening. All right. Keep it a safe and a blessed one as always. This is your U.S. General five draw tool card with side tray and deep compartment and into the next one we gonna check you later peace